As a high school student, I started working in a lab and discovered I loved it. I originally thought maybe I'd wanted to become a physician, but within a year of starting college, I knew that research was what I really wanted to do. I like studying things, uh, knowing how the body works, but I want it to apply to people and make a difference with people. We're a Center for Health Sciences, and uh, a lot of people don't know what that means. Well, we have a college of medicine here. So we have a college of osteopathic medicine, but in addition to that, we have graduate programs. So we have a graduate program, a school of forensic sciences, a school of biomedical sciences, and a school of healthcare administration. The mission of the school here, when I'm talking about faculty and our students, I can sum it up in three ways. It's health, healing, and uh, discovery. Our students come here wanting to make a difference, not just in the city, but also in rural Oklahoma and rural populations. Because of our mission, we recruit a certain type of student. Ironically, it's the same thing is true for the faculty. We do a lot more in terms of teaching and mentoring than other schools I've been involved with in the past. And as a result of that, we have a faculty that tries to understand the students, understands that they may have problems. If they start down a certain path and they discover they don't like it, that's okay with us. We'll help them find a solution. 20 years ago, science used to be department-based. You would get into an apartment, probably do research in that department, and the research you did was actually kind of defined by the department you were working in. The meaningful questions can't be answered by one discipline anymore. You need a team of people working together, which means that the problems I'm interested in, I really can't solve by myself. I need other people helping me. So I have physicians that I work with. I have engineers that I work with, uh, fabric design specialists that I work with. Each person brings in a piece of expertise and a different perspective to uh, solving the problem that you couldn't begin to solve on your own. When students get ready to start a graduate program, it's like a lot of programs students get interested in. They don't really know what they're getting into. Uh, the students that come into our program now want a career, but they also want a community and family experience as well. So when we're talking about the research experience, it's not enough for them to say, I'm going to be a scientist. They want to be a scientist that's working on a problem that may be a little bit more applied, that they feel like is potentially helping the community. So it's all about developing relationships with your students, understanding what they're wanting, where they want to go, and then finding a way for them to follow that path and get there. I get asked a lot of times from uh, students that are thinking about graduate school about what does it take to become a graduate student? Am I smart enough? Do I know enough? And then I tell them, you know what? What's more important is if I see passion in their desire to become a scientist, because it's really about the passion more than what you know. When you're trying to discover something that's new, you don't know the exact path you're gonna follow. And so you have to be able to figure out how do I get from here to there without a roadmap? And in the process of getting from here to there, there's lots of problems, roadblocks. You can't quit, you persevere. And then suddenly you hit it. It's a high that you wouldn't believe. But you gotta make it last. Because you may only get one of those a year. Or maybe in another year you'll have two of them. So you can't get into this field thinking that every day is going to be an aha moment because it takes time to get to those places. Uh, but when you get there, it's a celebration. My name is Dr. Bruce Benjamin. I'm Interim Vice Provost for Graduate Programs. I'm also the Associate Dean for Biomedical Sciences at Oklahoma State University Center for Health Sciences in Tulsa. Be one of America's brightest orange and one of Oklahoma's boldest cities. Thank you.